Check, check. Hello, everybody. We're live here, Uptown Minneapolis, Lake and Girard. A man named Winston Smith was killed earlier today. In the parking ramp right here. And you see a dumpster fire. So the situation up here has been going on for 10 hours or so. I missed the fight. How you doing? Oh, it's tight. Heck yeah. I was going to say we were seeing y'all around. And do you want to you talk at all? Oh, yeah. Y'all should talk to me. So we also have oh, yeah. to talk about it collective out here. Heck yeah, for sure. How you doing? Good to see you. Hey, what's up? 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 Hey, the people who were just doing the drum circle were from Camp McGeezy, a Line 3 resistance camp up north Minnesota. So you see the scene here, this is a crime tape, somebody wrapped around the top of this street pole. People are bringing more wood for the fire.
Oh. You gonna take this? No, wait a moment. You don't have to. Buju, to be Kigiza, excuse your quay, Nindushin Kaz, Nagachi Wanang, Indunjiba, Megizi to Autumn. My name is Teja Martino. I come from the Fond du Lac Reservation. I'm a co-founder of Camp Megizi. We're up here today because black indigenous people of color are being shot dead in the street for the beauty of the melanin they carry in their skin. And it's the solidarity that we built since the George Floyd uprising that's going to shake and dismantle white supremacy. You know, we're going to continue showing up. We're going to continue showing out and we're going to continue, you know, supporting one another, empowering one another and coming out every time they call. Miigwech. And this happens during a time where people are calling for Lion 3 resistance. Yeah. Talk about that. So we're up in northern Minnesota, you know, fighting the Lion 3 pipeline, you know, about when our allies call, when our, you know, black lives have shown up for us time and time again. So every time something happens here in Minneapolis and they call for support, we're going to be here, you know. We're going to be, we're, we're everywhere, you know. We're willing to show up, show out. And, you know, every single one of us is a trained medic. We're here to, you know, support the fight, the ongoing fight. It's not just about stopping line three. It's about uplifting, supporting, empowering, and protecting black, indigenous, and people of color. Um, and then can you talk about uh, anything that uh, the call out that happened for line three coming up this weekend or this coming up days? You can shout it out if you want. Yeah, we have the Treaty People Gathering coming up. And at Camp McGeezy, you know, we're calling people to mobilize and join us the 10th through the 13th of this month to take direct action every single day against line three corporation. You know, we're going to stop this black snake and we're going to make sure that black lives matter every day because it's not just about, you know, showing up to riot, showing up to protest. Black lives matter is about empowering empowering, supporting, and protecting black people, and we're here to, you know, ensure that the solidarity we built for this summer continues, no matter what. Word. Anything else you want to add? Can I say something? No, yeah, yeah. I love you all. Thank you. Get your butts out here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All I gotta say is... Let's get, let's get the fire behind you. All I gotta say is fuck 12. Oh, <laughs> all white cups. Oh, yeah, that's silky, bitch. No, I gotta say fuck you too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You can say it with just audio, you don't have to put it on your face. I don't kiss kill Ali. Fuck 12, we need justice for Winston Smith, and this shit gotta stop. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter, this shit gotta stop. This shit gotta stop. Racism must stop every single day. Somebody dies every single day, we need to stop. Okay? And we need justice for Winston, and also for his sister that, who got shot, we need justice for her too. So, stop shooting, and Put the gun down. That's it. Refine for the police. Thank That's you. all I'm asking. Appreciate you. Thank you all. Thank you. Hey, thank you. I'm Nico. Greg. Thank you. So you heard uh, Winston Smith was killed up here. I think uh, possibly his sister, the companion in the car, was possibly shot as well um, and detained. You see Gerard here, Lake and Gerard. At the 38th Street in Chicago sign.
I mean, I can. I don't know what's going on. I wouldn't have any information. So, you want to talk about that? How you feeling? You don't have to. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, so it's uh, coming off the day that they started the yeah. uh, reopening of reconnecting of 38th Street. Uh, shortly after a press conference by the mayor, yeah. uh, authorities kill a man. Yes, correct. Um, and as information is still coming in on that, obviously the city is going to react however they are going to react. Right now we are seeing people voicing their outrage. You see people making art on the street. You, obviously you see there's a fire there. That's nothing that we're trying to hide. Um, but the reality of the situation is that the more times the police officers keep killing people. It's going down out here, man. This shit's serious. The more police officers keep killing people, the more times they, they keep taking life into their own hands. Uh, like people are done having that happen. Now, I don't know much about the situation over here. I'm just here. I just got here. Uh, but the reality of the situation is that police lethality is a continued problem. A continuous problem that is murdering people. Yeah. <laughs> the people are out here. and But... They can't live in a world where they won't be allowed to survive. And if they're not allowed to survive, what else? What other kind of recourse is there? And we're seeing that right now. We're seeing that as we're not even two, three weeks removed from the anniversary of George Floyd. And again, we're seeing another body in the streets from the people we're paying to protect us. That is not sustainable. This is no longer sustainable. And the people in charge, those in power, who are hoping that we will forget about it and will move on into the next sexy issue, it's not happening. Your idea of waiting and see and hoping that we all move on to business as usual is not happening. That doesn't happen. People are done being murdered in the streets and you need to change. You need we justice. Done shit. We go forever kill, kill everybody. <laughs> so please, it's time to be done with that. All this nonsense, sending black people out to fight black people, all of that, like it's not going to work. It's, it's, it doesn't work anymore. You have to change up your tactic. Try honesty, integrity, and just some empathy, some just goddamn empathy, please. Uh, I'll see as much as, as much as I can do about the situation, as much as I can do. But thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah. Hey, that's a. Hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, just drove past the fifth precinct. Helicop staged at the fifth. Yeah, okay. Like they got first precinct, second, third, fourth, fifth, all of the above there, and buses. When I drove by, there was only one cart van getting ready. Is there's more than that? There were. When we pulled in, there was at least one inside and one pulling in with lights on. So, Thank and you. that was I don't know five minutes ago, ten ten minutes ago. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Good to see you. Man. Be safe. Yeah. Thank you for the update. Yeah. Crowd is sort of growing. It's been it's been a crowd up here for a while. You got the motorcyclists chiming their displeasure with the state killing another man. Just don't burn that one though. Yeah, because. I appreciate it. Thanks, Lee. Why are you recording?
for it now. You got to... I'm live right now. You want to be... Right yeah, be careful with what you say, though. Because the police is watching and everybody's I'm watching. Man, fuck the police. What brings you out here? We're going to blow their ass down. What brings you out here? Hey, cut. We out here. We trying to lose some shit. We're game. We're not trying to loot. We just want justice. Black lives matter and natives lives matter. My bad. I stuttered on that. No, you good. Talk at all? Man, I'm going against your turn now. Hey, yes. It's her, you gotta go. It's your turn. <laughs> With the fire in the background. Here, go ahead. No. I'll talk again, but I don't want to take nobody else's going. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want, we, we can do it real quick. You, bro. Uh, nah. Yeah. <laughs> I interviewed Georgia earlier today. Nice. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Um, but yeah, you you're now at this scene. We saw you a little bit ago <laughs> at George Floyd Square. Yeah, I'm here now. No, no, no now we got. Well, so his name is Winston Smith. Do you know any more? You were talking about it even at the right, square, right. The Black Power Fest. Yeah. Um, what do you know about the situation? So I was here. Me and Courtney were here maybe like 15 minutes after it happened. I actually know somebody that is his homie. Um, I don't personally know him, but I just found out who it is and who his homie is. So this is crazy. I'm surprised police haven't come up here yet, for real. Actually, but you know, ever since George Floyd was murdered, Uptown, they just been letting it go. But uh, we, we're watching property value go down and we're watching what happens when uh, the system allows police to go crazy or, or actually just exist how they exist. Look at the police fucking up y'all businesses, fucking up y'all day, fucking up y'all property value. Y'all can't access y'all streets. Y'all Every business over here got shut down around 2 p.m. Shout out to the police for that. situation up here right now is what it is you talked about the police there is police staging at fifth precinct i saw i heard of yeah what do you what do you anticipate from the police staging let me see this shit look i got i'm ready <laughs> i don't think they're gonna come with gas masks or anything but i think a lot of the people out here they're not like protesters i don't think they're just gathering around maybe it's like 50 50 so the police will probably have no problem getting us to clear out of here they do one flashbang everybody gonna run you know what i mean so uh they definitely don't want us occupying and lighting shit on fire but at the end of the day, they're the ones causing the harm. We're just reacting. They're the ones acting. It looks like it's about to, it's, it's going to happen. You hear it? Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. Appreciate hey, it. Hey, love, bro. Yeah, People are now running at the sound of a siren. There's no evidence that the siren is headed here. Um, There's, uh, the streets are blocked up there. Um, the sirens seem to have stopped. Just an ambulance, somebody said. Just an ambulance. Bro, why are they running? Like, we took over this shit for a reason. Why are y'all you know? here? Like, we about to be here. We supposed to be here. Stop fucking running. Fuck the cops. They finna come, whatever. They finna come and we finna show them out. Like, fuck all that shit. Stay here. Show, like, bro, we're holding space, obviously, for... I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I forgot his name, but like Winston Smith. Winston, Winston Smith, thank can, can you. Can I record you? I Go ahead, do your thing. You can hold this. All right, so we here, you know, showing solidarity for Winston Smith, and uh, I didn't, I didn't even know about it. Like, I don't think any like fucking media knows about this shit either. So just so y'all know, the person that was shot up in there, his name is Winston Smith. And don't forget that name, Winston Smith. Say his name. Make sure y'all remember this shit because we're gonna fight for him just the same fucking way we fought for George Floyd. Yep. So, pretty much what I'm saying is, people are getting scared of shit. If Rest you he, if you watch, yup, yup. Um, if you watching this right now, come down here. We on fucking Grand and Don, Gerard, Gerard and Lake. Come fight with us. Come fight with us. Show solidarity, hold space, and don't fucking run from the cops. Cause we not running no more, bro. We not running no more. It's Fuck all that standing. shit. We not running no. We yeah, exactly. We standing. Fuck.
Sorry about the connection just dying. That was actually the camera. So, so we're here off a lake in Girard. Let me make sure everything is still on. One second. So again, this is a situation here off a lake in Girard. A man named Winston Smith was killed earlier today. The original discussion around it was that one second. I think we're good. Yep, yep. Um, the original description of the situation. What up? How you doing? The original description of the situation was that police were chasing a murder suspect that turned out to not be the truth. From my understanding is that the person was just a felon and the state or the authorities were trying to uh, apprehend the felon and shot him 10 times or something possibly his girlfriend or a companion or his sister was also with him uh, this is a situation up here off of lake and gerard people are gathered the police are staging uh at the fifth precinct which is not too far. It's the closest precinct here that polices this neighborhood. It's off of 31st and 1st. Right now we're basically off a of lake in Girard. Um, I could say maybe 15 to 20 blocks away from the 5th precinct. We'll see if the police come. They've been un, uh, unactive, inactive up here. They have not been up here much. Some people are putting gas masks on around here. Uh, other people are just gathering. You see there's a dumpster fire that's been fueled by some other uh, random things that people have found to light on fire and you see the police line tape which is sheriff's line so some is his police and some is the sheriffs so again it was the hennepin county sheriffs uh, we believe that shot him. I personally, you, you all know on the internet more than I do, I personally have not seen uh, much reporting on it. I was at George Floyd Square. If you want to know what happened up there, check out our latest stream. We'll probably only be up here for a little bit and then we'll stay to document the happenings. Uh, some of the people that we tried to speak to a little earlier, uh, really not trying to speak, but there's uh, more filling in and so we might get a few more interviews in a little bit. Facebook. All of them. YouTube, oh. Facebook, Twitter. We use We use uh, Teradek. Teradek Core. That's why I got his backpack. Right. Everything's in there. Yeah, and then it goes up to. We have to have somebody running the back end. Right. So somebody has to be on the computer running it. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? You want to talk at all? Uh, no, 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 no. All right. Good to see you, Tonya. Um. So. <laughs> Well, this last month I haven't been, but try to be. Try to. Huh? Oh, look at you when you're taking. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Gotcha. Cool. I'm Nico. Max. Good to meet you, man. This was better circumstances. Yes, very, very true. Another death. So there is a camera up here that is possibly got interrupted, but maybe, maybe not. I think people may have just thrown the stuff across. Uh, so this is the situation here again, uptown. Uh, Winston Smith was killed by authorities in this parking ramp, I believe. We'll walk over to it. People are riding in the street. 
So I believe it was this parking ramp, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Again, I'm out here with limited information, but just trying to, you all on the internet know much more than I do at the situation. Somebody's writing the name, Winston Smith. Did you know him? Not legally. Would you want to talk at all about Ryan McGinley? Last time after that happened on Lake Street, I had that in my life. Oh, no way from talking about Cup. I'm sorry that happened. Oh, it's good to see you, bro. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good to see you again. Me too. You want to talk at all? No. You want to talk at all? I met you, yeah, medic today. Oh, yeah, you can't, yeah, yeah. You want to talk about being a medic right now? No, no. not I can't. I can't do that. Yep, right here. for sure. Yeah. So the crowd is slowly gathering. Art is being created. Again, this one that I'm actually stepping over it says Our Streets, written in chalk. And people are writing Winston Smith's name. Give me a second to gather some things. Okay, I'm going to read I'm going to read the police report or the Star Tribune report. Give me one second. Basically what the police said originally was that the person that they killed was a, was a uh, suspect uh, who committed a murder but then the marshal services put out a statement regarding the murder today and they said specifically on Thursday January June 3rd at approximately 2 10 p.m. US Marshals task force members were involved in an incident resulting in a fatality in Minneapolis um, and this is what I'm reading from it's basically just a sheet you can find it on the internet Preliminary information indicates the task force members were attempting to apprehend an individual wanted on a state arrest warrant for possession of a firearm by a felon. During the incident, the subject, who was in a parked car, failed to comply and produced a handgun resulting in task force members firing upon the subject. That is what the police narrative is saying. Task force members attempted life-saving measures. However, the fugitive was pronounced deceased. The fugitive, they say, was pronounced deceased. One second. We just got to update that uh, a large force of police along with three fire trucks are on their way to this area now. <clears throat> Finish reading this, uh, the fugitive, they called him, uh, was pronounced deceased by Hennepin County EMS on the scene. A female occupant in the vehicle was treated for minor injuries resulting from glass debris at the scene. The BCA is the lead investigative agency for this incident. Again. I don't know specifically where the where the incident took place personally. Personally, I do not. Um, other people do. You can find out on the internet. That is what the U.S. Marshal said. 
It is not, uh, he was not a murder suspect. They were at, trying to apprehend somebody who was a felon, uh, supposedly a felon in possession of a wire, firearm. They say he produced the firearm and then shot. Or, and then produced the firearm and the police shot him. So. I mean, we just heard the update. I just got an update a little second ago from somebody who drove by uh, the 5th Precinct, and they said that numerous officers were on their way along with three fire trucks. So we'll see if that materializes into anything. So again, Winston Smith, uh, unsure of his age, shot and killed by U.S. Marshals today, attempting to apprehend him. Is this person? This person is coming in with a fire extinguisher. A man is, I, I believe, maybe a business owner of one of these businesses or something if he's sitting in that seat like that, I believe. Fire didn't go all the way out. It's continuing. Again, this happened about 2.10 p.m. So there's some vehicles, possibly, police vehicles headed this way, but they're not. It was an ambulance that was headed south. We do know that there's other possible police headed this way, though. So many people are getting prepared for the police to come. Some people got a chair, just chilling.
So again, this is uh, Camp McGeezy up here. They have a camp up in northern Minnesota, fighting line three, oil pipeline. Good call. Are you talking about that dude that was just right here? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Do you know what he's streaming from? Um, no, I don't, but I took pictures of him. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, if you can, send him DM or something. Quite a few police cars just drove by. Here the police go. So the police are coming on both sides. Doesn't look like they're going to give any warnings to leave. Over here, uh, Lake and Gerard. Police have formed a line on Lake and Hennepin, as well as Lagoon and Gerard. The chant right now is cops. Pigs, murderers. I think they left. I saw them for a second, but I haven't seen them since. Like, you need to get out of here. If you can be arrested, if, you're gonna be, if you think you can be arrested, you think you can do that, fine. Stay. Do what you need to do. But just be aware that they are going to do that. They're going to fire on you, and then they're going to try to arrest you. So assess your level of risk. Know what you're here for. If you're here just to, to fuck shit up, I hear it alive. That's your own prerogative. 
But no, if you need to Where leave, now's the time. Oh, it's going to be harder for me for the next five years. No. Don't figure that out when it's too late. your level of risk, understand what you're doing here tonight. Hey, man. Yeah. You know these isn't the dinner, right? You said again? You know this is the beginner, right? We can't keep talking. We know Black Lives Matter. Fuck all that talking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, to the right of the fuck club. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, to the right of the fuck club. On my baby. On my baby. On my baby. On my nigga, fuck, stop playing with me, bro. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, to the right of the fuck One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Rocky, play the Looks like the police are blocking the other side, possibly. Police are shining lasers.
go flashbang. So where, man? Okay, I'm, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, yep, yep. I'm good. They threw that right at the van. This is a cart team, chemical agent response team. This is one of their spent grenades, flashbangs. Stopping here. I didn't see them shoot any 40 millimeter marker rounds, but I did see a lot of flashbangs. I'm not sure what the red ones. What are these? Hey, don't touch my camera. What are you doing, man? What the fuck you doing? Don't do that. I'm pressed. What the fuck are you scared of? He's mad at the light, tried to push the camera away. Why are you flooding your own reflection, motherfucker? Look at your fucking eyes. Hey, hey look, look at your eyes. Look at your own eyes, motherfucker. They have a mirror on that shield. Hey, oh, 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 you see the green tint on the helmet on the left side. I would really like to know that so I can report that he pointed and tell me. Oh, never mind. There's a tint of something else. I was thinking it was a marker on tint. 
Or maybe you did because power makes it fucking dick hard. Because I can see it in your eyes right now that you didn't put your badge on. You're gonna say your ancestors died for freedom and liberty, right? Because this is what you can't look in the mirror. Because this hurts. The state of America right now, where police are under attack, is fucking terrifying. It's terrifying how afraid you are of you, you, laser gun, and you didn't take those to do this. So put that down and stand with us. Do what's right. Be on the right side of history. You literally hold so much power right now. Do not be Derek Shaw. Be a human being. Be a human being. So I'm thinking that that weapon right there, what was sh doing the laser towards the protesters, not positive, but I think so. That's a live wire, a live fire weapon. The fire is still raging in the distance, but the police cleared the area a little bit, mostly. I personally didn't see any arrests, but police cleared the area, pushing people, throwing a lot of flashbangs. I don't think they used tear gas. And then they cuddled, they didn't cuddle the whole way because they allowed this area to You killed somebody here in the street. People are out here pointing them. So they them. escalated it. And they come out to be violent. First of all, by killing somebody. How would you feel if I showed up to your house or your burial grounds or whatever and started throwing flesh pangs and put them down the you? Wouldn't, you wouldn't fuck with that, would you? You would feel like your First Amendment rights, your right to assemble a gun was a little, was a little stepped on. It would be a little stepped on, huh? I'm not out here to fucking scream, fuck the police or whatever. I'm like, fuck you, but like, come on, are you really proud? Or are you proud right now in this moment? If you go home and tell your children, yeah, I made the world a better place today. Oh, Can you tell your children that? made a lot of them, don't worry. Or your children don't even talk to you, do they? We got a lot of them from Standing Rock. Your children probably hate you. Motherfuckers looked a lot like you out there, too. They used, uh, you know, tear gas, chemical weapons, dogs, attack grenades. Because people standing up for the water. This is where it was from. I was a child when I saw people like you burn down the only good thing that ever came out of this country. Because when that precinct burned, people loved it. People were inspired by it. People were relieved to see your comrades run for their lives. Total abolition! No punk lines, no prison! Total abolition. No pipelines, no prisons. Total abolition. No pipelines, no prisons. Total abolition. Can you imagine any other job where you have to use chemical weapons against children? Can you imagine if a PE coach used chemical weapons against children? Can you imagine if uh, a psychiatrist used chemical weapons against children? Uh, can you imagine if uh, an EMT, a doctor, a firefighter used chemical weapons against children? Do you see a human being when you look in your reflection? Or do you see a fucking costume? Do you see a big fucking man with a big fucking gun and nothing but fear beneath his armor? That's why you won't look me in the eye. You're not standing the crowd. You're trying to avoid your own reflection, which is what you do every single fucking day. That's why you had to rip this shit out of my hand. There's a full body. You can look at your armor too and keep on looking at all the other children that you're going to use chemical weapons against. Officer. How does it feel to know that every child in America fears you? There's a fire department coming through, I think.
Why are you lifting? Cool. Wouldn't do much. I've led CCU. Man. I can literally kick you down with my Yeah, you better no, pull him back. The pass stick's not going to do shit. We're pulling that officer out. He's part of the cart team, chemical agent response team. These other officers are. He, so he's like a shooter, right? And so they put him back. They put these other frontline officers who really seem like women. Uh, at the scene up here, what we do know is that they put a bunch of black officers, which they don't have a lot of black officers, but they put a bunch of black officers on the scene up here. And somebody just took their shield back. But if the entire country rejoices in your comrades and are running for their lives from the current precincts, that's how you know what side of history you're on. We've got the power, we've got the people, and all you have is your armor. I'm going to rush you to avoid every morning. Move! 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 This is the officer who pushed the camera out of our hand. 4319 is his badge number. Hardly the first time they've attacked press. He's getting ready with another flashbang. Look in your eyes before you use that against us. Look in your eyes and tell yourself, this is what I decided to do. We got water. We got water. This is what community looks like! This is what community looks like! Look in your own fucking eyes before you pull that motherfucking pen! You're using that Templar to hide your name badge number. That was a small fire that they're putting out in the street. Sort of large fire, actually. Oh, you're good. Go ahead. Mass produced. You can see them in Palestine. You can see them in Colombia. You can see them everywhere. It's called American Security Company. Has anybody seen Oscar on here? Stop fucking shooting people, bro. Stop fucking shooting people, bro. I'm missing the only one. I got two towers. 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 I got couldn't read if it was defense technology or safari land, but it was most likely one of those defense uh, contracting agencies, safari land or defense technology. The police did have a live fire round as well. They shine green laser towards protesters when they started to approach coming east on Lake Street about 20 minutes ago. Beyond that, they shot, or they threw a lot of flashbangs.
and push some people. I didn't see any arrests. So most of the people are sort of going home, maybe not going home, but leaving. Again, this was uh, for the murder of Winston Smith, shot around 2 p.m. today. It was the police, uh, federal agents, uh, U.S. Marshals, as well as Hennepin County Sheriff's Department. We're trying to apprehend somebody who they say was a wanted felon with a firearm. Um, they say he produced a firearm and then they shot and killed him. Uh, supposedly, they say also the person that was with him suffered some debris wounds from the glass that shattered after shooting him in his car. So this is the situation here. Uptown Minneapolis, uh, the umpteenth murder of a person. There's This Sunday, there's a march for Dalal Eid, who was killed on New Year's Eve, I believe, uh, on 36th and holiday in the middle of the day. Uh, in a sting operation using possibly a confidential informant. This was a seeming like a possible sort of sting operation where they were trying to apprehend a person while they were going about their daily business. And they shot and killed that person. So this is an uptown neighborhood, um, sort of ritzy, higher class, upper mobility class, hipsterish uh, neighborhood. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I should have focused on it earlier. But uh, where that park sign is, there's also like a roof pool, a pool roof, a pool on the roof. Come on, one second. Can a single one of you go home and tell us and make your children proud that you threw explosives at peaceful protesters? Here's the captain of the are, night. Are your children going to clap for you? Are they going to cry knowing that you be that person? They're ashamed of you. Your children are more ashamed of you than I am. Blood and a white supremacist army. I've always just wondered his name, Severance. Nazi. Something like that. Ten more officers coming. Lieutenant Rice Krispy. Lieutenant Rice Krispy. Lieutenant Rice Krispy. Lieutenant Rice Krispy. 
going. Keep it going. You don't need to attack nobody. Just keep it going. Keep it going, bro. I'm moving it. I'm trying to keep the peace. Just keep going. Don't attack nobody. We good. No, I got this. I got this. Y'all don't even walk up. We good. We good. We good. Don't. Y'all need to stay there. Stay there. We good. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Don't worry about it. We good. We good. Yeah, he continues to act like shit. But call y'all. The ones that are the problem? Wait, they can't park there? Hey! Stop your fucking time! Hey, it's fun. So I think now we know his age. I don't know if I knew his age before. 26 years old, Winston Smith. Well, 20, 30 hey, people buddy. still. Hey, you with the, with the big gun. Let's talk about how you pointed your big gun at my buddy balls because you couldn't stand looking at yourself in the mirror. Because Literally, you because you could not stand looking at yourself in the mirror. Yeah, You're right here. You want to do it again? That needs to be somewhere watching. This is a fresh print on Netflix. You shouldn't be out here. You should be somewhere. You should be somewhere. You should be somewhere. You should be somewhere. When you pointed your gun at me with this laser pointer because I held up your reflection, did you enjoy watching me tremble? Did you? I mean, she wasn't baking. I'm smoking too much, man. Did you enjoy watching a 21-year-old child tremble? A literal baby. This shit was wielded at Standing Rock. These are people fighting against fascism. These are people fighting against Apple. And they decided... This is made by a performance artist. It's stretched aluminum and plywood. I think they should reinforce these bad boys. Basically, you've got to get close to the cops, look them in their eyes, hold it up, 
they can't see what's good. All they can see is themselves, which is probably the scariest thing for a cop to see. All powerful people. He slammed the uh, slammed the camera down too. Yeah, he slammed the camera. Yeah, that dude. 4319 is his badge number. People are less afraid. Fear is your only fucking weapon. And the fucking Did you see they've shined the laser on people? No. They started uh, approaching people coming this direction, coming east, uh, off of Hennepin. And I think it was the live fire. Uh, Gun right there, and green lasers started coming at people. That's scary. You got on camera? Good. Yeah, for sure. So again, we're here live in Uptown Minneapolis at the scene where police shot a man earlier today by the name of Winston Smith, who was 26 years old. The information I know about it is limited, but you can find more on the uh, internet. The police story is that they were attempting to apprehend the Winston, and supposedly he produced a handgun and they shot possibly 10 times or so at him and killed him. Possibly shot or injured the person who was with him who was his sister or a partner or a friend. See the stream from earlier today. We were at George Floyd Square. Stream started maybe around 6:30 or so. Came over here. The situation for Winston Smith happened about 2 p.m. People are screaming about something over here. The cops are coming up the alleys, running. Now they're running at this direction. They're shining a laser again. They did no talking to anybody. They're beating somebody up over here. Press, I'm pressing, I'm pressing, I'm pressing. Why did you do that with no warning? It's just like 
Why? I don't know. People were moving. They weren't doing anything to y'all. So there's a sort of a really rough arrest going on back there. Now they're calling out specific people to try to arrest. They just said, <clears throat> they just said black flag with camouflage, he's under arrest. Oh, then they're coming. I'm media, I'm media, I'm doing what the fuck? I'm media, I'm not doing anything. I'm not even close to what the fuck you're doing. I'm, dude, 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 dude. What are you doing? What is your number? What's your badge number? Like, what were you doing, dude? I get that, I'm moving. I don't understand what the fuck he's pushing me for. Yeah, you're cool, guy. Yo, Crispy, start controlling your folks, man. Yeah, there was no dispersal orders. and They didn't say anything both times they moved on people. <clears throat> they just got two people. There's one. Well, there's the other person they've apprehended. I got that on film when he pushed me. Cool, thank you. Yeah, it's just a recorded clip, so... Uh, if you can send it to our DM or something. Yeah. To one of the DMs, yeah, thank you. What the fuck? What the fuck? I mean, it could have been worse, but still, what the fuck, exactly. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Appreciate you. I got gravel in my hand that night, actually. Oh, yeah? That was some bullshit. I had press print on me and everything. And they me out. Oh. I had to get pictures taken the next day in my interview. Wow. Let's go! Let's go, y'all. We have our day. Let's go! Let's go! So they made two arrests for sure, folks that were on the front line. During their movements, one of these officers just pushed me three, four times, um, and a different officer, 4319, slammed the camera out of the hand. For what, I don't know. They're just a little edgy. Uh, eh? uh, but essentially, yeah, um, Winston Smith was killed earlier today by the authorities. Yeah, what was that? The dude, he made some kind of motion with his hand like he was going to shoot him or something? Hey, what up, bro? Hey, you want to talk at all? I'm lashing. Hey, you all right, man? They fuck with you? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I saw them over there, though. Did anything hit you? Just push? All right. There's the medics uh, stuff. Yeah, let's go! 
This this officer just said that they've people have been told to leave ten times. I actually haven't heard them tell anybody to leave. I've only heard the order move. Question, sir. I heard you say that people have been asked to leave ten times. I hadn't specifically heard that. Have you guys issued a, issued a dispersal order or come asked on, them to leave? Come, come, just, no, no, just, just, just come on. Just Appreciate come you. on. No, 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 I was just asking. No, 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 I'm just no, pressed. No. I'm just asking him a question. Let's just go. We're going to have our Did, day when hey, we question get a for you. like him. Did you hear him? He said that they gave 10 times they no, told people to leave. Did you hear that? that they did that girl just now, that was fucked up. Mm -hmm. Y'all didn't have to do her like that. She was peacefully protesting. Y'all slammed her to the motherfucking ground to her face. How dare y'all? And then you touch me with your pole? Best believe I will see you in court. Motherfucking nine. I want you to touch me again. Zero nine seven two. Okay, I'm gonna get you. Best believe that. Let's go, y'all. Let's just go. Let's go. Let's go. We gonna have our protest. But yeah, as I was saying, has there been dispersal orders? Saying nothing now. He was just talking a minute ago, telling that they gave 10 times the order to leave. They didn't give one that I heard. Uh, as press out here and as a human out here, I did not hear one order to leave. I did hear them say move. So the periphery side streets are somewhat uh, filled with some people. They have the two people arrested down here. They just they put some kind of bag somewhere. They put the bag on her head. Wow. That bag you see on top of the car door is a bag over the person being arrested's head. See that bag? troubling situation back there literally put a bag on the arrested person's head possibly they will say that the person was trying to spit at them or whatever excuse that they would bring up one of the arrested was singing they're throwing stuff out of this person's bag So if they're going to say that these people had shields, they will probably give them a felony riot charge and say that the shield was a dangerous weapon used during a riot. That's what they've been doing for gas masks and other self-defense equipment. Yeah, this dude. Now he's antagonizing the community. This officer is antagonizing. Where'd he go? Right here. Antagonizing the community. He said, Oh, now you're moving, huh?
So this situation up here, they're pushing, they're putting the people who are arrested into vehicles. One person, the the first person that was arrested, a woman who was violently arrested, or a femme presenting person who was violently arrested, had a bag placed over their head and put into the cop car. There's the second person that's been arrested. This situation here off of Lake and Gerard. There's more police uh, that are here coming up the block. So again, we're here live off of Lake and right now Emerson. These are alphabetical order, so we were on Girard. Went back past Fremont now on Emerson. Uh, cart team is moving. Those are shooters that are getting they're moving to a different position. And these officers are moving back. So we're in a situation up here, a man named Winston Smith shot and killed by marshals, U.S. Marshals, uh, Hennepin County Sheriffs, trying to apprehend a person that they say had a, basically a warrant to apprehend them. So police are backing up again. They've cleaned off the, the area where the fire was. Most of the people have cleared out. Two of the people were arrested. One of the person arrested had a bag placed over their head before they were placed into the cop car. Talk from. It's graffiti right there. So again, this is uptown, um, sort of ritzy, upper, higher, upper, higher, upper mobility class of folks that live up here. <laughs> wow, that officer was mad at that water bottle. Oh, nice. Where was it? Oh, and you weren't expecting to have it back. Yeah, yeah. Two, four, six, eight. So about how many? I think twenty on this front line. And they got the shooters off to the side.
So they're telling people to take their mask off. So the first line moves back and the other line, the second line moves up. Uh, basically, first line then demasks. They'll take their masks off. And then when they're done taking their masks off, the second line or the first line will move back to the second line. They did not use tear gas from what I could tell. A cart team, who was it with the laser? You all brought out a laser for the first time. I hadn't seen that. You were pointing a live fire uh, round of, with a laser at people? Or what was a laser? Can somebody tell me that? No. No answer on the laser. We'll try to get some answers from John Elder, the ever quiet on our end, John Elder, Elder PIO officer. And other officers that may be watching, you could shoot us an email and tell us why or what it was to sort of clarify what that was. Seemed to be shining a laser on protesters from a live fire automatic rifle. I could be wrong, but that's what it seemed like. So again, this is the situation here off of Lake in Fremont. So this dude just said, uh, you can put your shields up, something about we're working on waters as well. So it sounds like they're gonna hold this line for the formidable future um, and then leave when they feel the time is able to leave. Usually what they do is, uh, but, uh, secure it for maybe 30 45 minutes to an hour right now there is no protesters where we are just pressed so. well this was a scene here thank you all for tuning in this is nico from unicorn ride thank you dan so much for running the back end uh thank you for running the back end earlier at george floyd square as well if you missed the stream earlier from george floyd square there's one unit moving out if you missed the stream earlier from George Floyd Square, check it out on our website, unicornride.ninja. That person forgot they were part of that team. The person on the crowd uh, down the periphery street says, I don't see no riot here. Why are you in riot gear? I didn't see any objects thrown at the police, per se. I did see them throw a lot of objects at the people. And the objects were flashbangs, mostly. Well, again, um, this was for Winston Smith, I believe his name is. I believe he was 26. We could be wrong with getting that information from the street. Um, but oftentimes, uh, they could be right. This little stream that you saw in uptown Minneapolis today, tonight, was remnants of that protest of Winston Smith, who was killed at 2 p.m. So this is about 10 hours later, the police finally cleared the area. There was a large fire that was in the middle of the street and people were started taking space, calling for justice. So this is coming off of the today's first moves to try to reopen and reconnect 38th Street, where George Floyd Square is, using Agape movement as the countering force of police. So therefore a lot of people are calling for the to be uh, watching the counterinsurgency tactics that the police are doing. There's a car that moved uh, up to this angle, skirted out, and now is looking at the police, and the police said, whoa, whoa, whoa. So they're always uh, shooting at cars and throwing things at cars in these last year since the uprising. They're bumping little boosies, fuck the police. That's what they're bumping while they pull up and park their car. So, again, find more information on our website and on our Twitter feed, you are underscore ninja. Instagram, unicorn.riot. We're going to be having a lot of Line 3 resistance coverage coming up soon. The, there was a... There was, 
you hear a person in the background screaming, fuck the police. There was a few, uh, Camp McGeezy, a few folks from Camp McGeezy were here, uh, showing solidarity with the protests here, talking about the intersectionality of, between black and indigenous uh, struggles. More police movements right now. They said they wanted a hook. So uh, we'll just continue to be here and document this. Mostly, give me a second. We might probably bring the stream down. We'll check in real quick. Um, okay, so before we go, let's just uh, briefly touch on the police uh, story. Uh, originally, when they killed the person, the police story was that he was a murder suspect. That was quickly changed by the marshal services, maybe not quickly, it was changed by the marshal services who said, uh, oh, actually, he wasn't a murder suspect. He was just wanted on a gun crime. So. What they did was they said uh, that they were trying to apprehend the person, Winston Smith, who was 26 years old, believed to be 26, I believe. Um, and as they were trying to apprehend him, he supposedly, according to the police, uh, showed a gun. And at the time he showed the gun, uh, they fired and killed him. One second. We're going to bring the stream down. I'm looking at one thing. So uh, if you are into spy planes and planes getting uh, surveillance all over the Twin Cities, which has been happening this last year, check out our website, Unicorn Riot Ninja. We have multiple specials on that. And also, uh, can, some of, most of them contributed by Sam uh, Richards, who's been basically the spy planes uh, king finding out spy planes and whatnot for many years so they are still out tonight deep uh, you can check them out it's a state trooper n 11 s or n yep 115 sp uh, that is a helicopter with very high intense spy plane technology that is flying over this area right now so that's continuing to happen um i don't really All right. So, yep, that's it. Uh, we will bring the stream down. Again, the name is Winston. The name is Winston Smith. Uh, you know, obviously a fictional character in 1984, but uh, also a real human who was killed by police today. So, again, thank you all for tuning in. Oh, dope. Oh, you are okay. Oh, can, can I show this right now? That was the police pushing me with the greenish shirt. What is this, slow motion too? You're good. Okay, thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Um, so that was one of the situations of a police sort of uh, being a little pushy today. They also pushed the camera down, 4319. Um, sweet. So, yep, yeah, we're going to bring the stream down. Uh, you see the police huddling. It's this autofocus killing me. There we go. See the police huddling in the distance, going over some things. They're going to go back and debrief, I'm sure. Uh, this is the CART team, Chemical Agent Response Team. Um, the CART team is, is now famous for Sergeant Andrew Patel for shaming uh, Lieutenant Gomez for saying Sergeant Dayton Dupo's name. That's very interesting. Check out that uh, on our website, unicornriot.ninja. That is a special that we came across. You know, it's, it's like the shame games, right? It's, uh, what, yeah, what, I see birds coming, almost coming out. What do you got to say? Okay, okay. 
Well, Officer Almo says something. But yeah, uh, the CAR team is the chemical agent response team. Uh, Andrew Battelle is a sergeant of the chemical agent, agent response team, and he was caught on body camera uh, shaming Lieutenant Gomez for saying the last name of Sergeant Dayton De De Dubot, who actually is uh, a community engagement officer attempting to try to change the department from the inside to change the culture. So it's very interesting that other officers within this chemical agent response team, which ride around in these vans, jump up boys, uh, would be hazing another officer for saying the last name of Dayton Dubot, who is a sergeant in Central Command. So here is one of their cart team vans in motion. Now he's shutting the door. They have a baseball bat right there too. Wow, interesting. So that was it. Uh, take the stream down again. Thank you all for tuning in. This is Nico from Unicorn Right. You see somebody did get a little bit busy on this window here at Target. And there's another, uh, some glass up there. So the police are now moving some of the uh, road construction signs and whatnot. So again, thank you all for tuning in. Check out our media, unicornride.ninja. Check out our website, you are uh, unicornride.ninja. Check out our Twitter feed, you are underscore ninja. Uh, we are 501c3. If you like what we do, continue to support us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Share our work if you can. Uh, continue to follow our work. We have a lot of Line 3 and other uh, media coming up. Thank you all. Thank you again so much, Dan, for running the back end for so long tonight when you had other things to do. You all take care. Have a good night. Um, and this, again, was for Winston Smith, who was killed earlier today at 2 p.m. by authorities. Uh, once again, another killing in Minneapolis. And the community is still trying to heal and feeling like they are re-traumatized, we heard, uh, in a couple of different ways. So, all right, you all, peace. Well, to be going down.